Hey guys, this is Jason, also known as Sergeant Merrill on Xbox Live, and this is actually going to be a video response to Woody's Gamer Tag. I'm a big fan and I watch a lot of his videos, and today he uh, posted a, a video where he questions the YouTube community and how Call of Duty videos are being received. As someone who's just starting out, I think I have my two cents to say something. Uh, first, I agree that Call of Duty videos uh, have reached an all-time high. Uh, with people like Onslaught and T-Mart, who, if you haven't watched their stuff, I highly recommend them. They're uh, constantly pushing the envelope in entertainment value. And we are getting in cutting-edge stuff that is not easily replicated. You just can't get away with simple commentary anymore. And it needs to have a professional, polished feel that lets the viewers know that you deserve their time. And I think that's upsetting for a lot of the people that have been around for a while. Uh, the bar is being raised and uh, people just expect more and that's just the nature of a consumer-based world. Um, you know, and that's the same thing that uh, is, has fueled the gaming industry to where it is today. Uh, to use games as an example toward commentaries, uh, for those of you who remember Wolfenstein or Doom or Rise of the Triad, uh, those were fantastic games back in the day and we will always remember them as the stepping stones uh, that led us to where we are. I mean, I remember installing Doom with floppy disks and playing it on, on a computer that had a 20 megabyte hard drive uh, because that was the shit back in the day too. Uh, but those games wouldn't stand the snowball's chance in hell in today's gaming community. Uh, people enjoyed those games because uh, they were the first of their kind. And they were in the good old days where, where two kids from med school could, uh, could create a Dungeons and Dragons game for the Nintendo and just make a killing. And that time has passed. The path to success is much more narrow and it's much more steep, uh, both for the gaming industry and for commentary in general. Uh, so for someone new to the scene, I think, uh, such as myself, uh, that doesn't mean making a successful channel is impossible. It just means that you need to ensure that success alone is not what you're shooting for. Uh, you have to enjoy pushing the envelope. You have to enjoy creating that entertainment value. And uh, I think you have to enjoy the work that you're going to put into all of it. Uh, call me a glutton for punishment, but I do enjoy it. And I know that if I keep at it with patience and creati creativity, uh, that it will gain a viewership that enjoys my style. I think that's what people need to shoot for. I really like the analogy that Woody gave a while back. Uh, he said, you need to think of it as a garden. You can't plant a seed and come back a day later and uh, think you're going to have dinner on the table. Uh, you need to take your time and do it right day by day. Enjoy the act of watering that garden uh, and your personality is going to make it into your own. You can't force it by skipping steps and using shortcuts. Uh, the YouTube community is not stupid. Uh, they know the difference between someone who has earned their viewership and someone who is demanding viewership by trying to take shortcuts and uh, and force uh, viewership is just not going to work. And so my overall opinion is that what is happening with the YouTube com community toward Call of Duty videos is nothing new. Uh, welcome to capitalism, uh, where the weak are weeded out and the strong have to learn to adapt and survive. Uh, those two kids who graduated from med school and created that dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons game, uh, that, that wasn't just an analogy, that, that was actually something that happened. And those two kids adapted and they survived and they became to be, uh, become the founders of Bioware and now they're responsible for some of the greatest games that we know today I mean, Mass Effect and uh, you know Dragon Age and games like that I mean that's that's where commentaries I believe are going uh, they're gonna get more complicated it's gonna take more and more work and you need to really enjoy it because it's gonna be a tough road uh, you can't just post a video and say hey this is what I did and it's gonna do great not going to happen anymore. Uh, for the rest of you underdogs out there, I suggest that um, you treat your viewership with patience, with respect and hard work. Uh, enjoy what you do and the rest will come. But that's just my opinion. This is Sergeant Merrill out here.